How's it going guys? It's James here, back again with another episode of The Road to Glory. You guys have been loving it so far and I've been really appreciating the support you guys have shown on the channel and on this series. So last episode, quick reminder, we just finished the first two games of Div Rivals placements. We weren't doing too hot, in all honesty, we were not doing too well. It was a sort of a case of acclimatizing to the new game and also realizing that some of the players that we had just were not meta and were not going to be able to take us to victory in some of these games. However, today is different. So I actually didn't remember to record. Uh, I'm still getting used to everything. I didn't record the first part of this game where he shows the team. Um, but we get straight into the game here. Ozil crosses it to the back post and everyone just completely runs past the ball. No one knows how to head the ball in FIFA 20. It's just completely broken now. Lingard on the ball, running in, does some nice skills. I mean, I don't know where his defender was going to, but we take those. It's a free goal. Jesse Lingard on the score sheet. Now, this game was uh, pretty open, I'd say. <sighs> My defender's, you know, doing him a service there, just like his defender did with mine, just sort of giving him a little area to run around in uh, and just easily walks in. And that's how the game ended. That was the third game of Div Rivals. It was pretty pretty meh to be honest and I thought need more upgrades we had about 30k and we settled on Jamie Vardy Gabriel Jesus was just slightly out of our price range at the time so we thought we'd settle with my man the Fox from Leicester Jamie Vardy the man who broke Rude Van Nistelrooy's consecutive game scoring record insane player we obviously looked for a Hunter Kem style just to get even more pace and be more obnoxious Pace is so important in FIFA 20, and you're going to see why in a bit. In some of these games, Jamie Vardy does absolute bits. It looks so much better already. This is the next guy. I mean, I don't know why he's... So he's using his loan players, his Vinicius, his Eden Militao, and his Zidane loan. Personally, I would say save those for foot champs rather than using them in Div Rivals in week one. It's not that deep. You don't need to go so hard, but whatever. Vardy does some excellent play there, slots it through to Harry Kane who finesses that with his left foot. Easy pickings and here the man commits a cardinal sin, passes it uh, straight to us, we head it through, Jamie Vardy takes the ball, through balls to Harry Kane and Harry Kane smashes another one in. It's just that easy. You can already see just putting in... Um, just putting in Vardy next to Harry Kane has made Harry Kane play so much better now that he's got someone that can make runs off him and make him some more space. So Harry Kane here threads it through. He expects the cutback. It's not there. Nice patient play. Vardy slots another one in. What a debut for Jamie Vardy already. He scored a goal and got uh, an assist, two assists. But he's the impact he made in the game was so obvious. So here again, good dribbling from Harry Kane, through balls it to Jamie Vardy, who then slots it back post to Lingard. Another assist for Jamie Vardy. His pace, I think he does have about 98 pace. And you can see there, he's 9.4 ratings along with Harry Kane on his debut. Insane player. We completely demolished this guy and totally deserved the win. There's nothing, no complaints I don't think he can have. The next, this guy had a sweaty team. Look at that team. What a what a starter squad. Lacazette, Gabriel Jesus, Felipe Anderson, Fabinho, Wijnaldum, and Pepe on the right side. So this is a man who understands how important pace is in a game of FIFA. So we get straight into it. It's early doors and we just, his pace, he's, he's so aggressive and he just catches us off guard. Wijnaldum runs through the defense. Marcus Alonso, you can see there, is just, he's not closing down, he's not, on it enough he's a bit too slow we come straight back down the other end Gabamin with the surging run from CDM runs the entire length of the pitch finesses it as calm as you like he's got 57 shooting can you believe it so we're, we're going back we're doing some aggressive play here through ball to Jamie Vardy from Harry Kane Jamie Vardy's so fast it's so difficult as soon as he gets the run on one of the center backs it's just night night and you can see here again the guy's lost his head he's just taken a he's just taken kickoff lost the ball immediately to Vardy and then he, can't, he just can't keep up he just can't keep up Harry Kane smashes one in this is me learning how to score goals in FIFA 20 Harry Kane slots it through to Lingard again finesse or just a, a shot to the bottom corner rather 
it's just easy goals. And this guy is falling apart. We are still in the first half at this point. And it was 4-1 uh, by the time we'd finished the first half. Again, simple goals. Jamie Vardy's pace creates so much space. And he's such a threat that it means the opponent has to play differently to accommodate for the fact that if he makes a mistake, Jamie Vardy's going to punish him. Just like here. He dives in, a roulette. The guy pauses, you know what's coming next. This man has had enough of Jamie Vardy and I can't get enough. Insane player, forces a rage quit, 10.0 rating in his second game. And that rounds off the five placement games. As you can see there, we only had eight shots on target. We scored six goals, so it's just clinical finishing for him. Uh, as you can see here, we lost, lost, drew, won, won. It's perfectly balanced record. <laughs> we've <laughs> done the, the best we could do, I think, from that. We've learned definitely a lot about how the game plays, but Marcus Alonso needed fixing. So we go to our left back spot, and I searched for the Premier League left backs, and we found Masuaku, an affordable option, but very, very good all the same. Very, very pacey. His defense doesn't need to be that high. It's still 70, which is still fine, but his pace definitely brings out the best in him because I think in this game tackling is a bit broken now you can't it's so hard the tackle buttons don't really help if you're running next to a player you there's no shirt pulling anymore to like slow them down and hustle them a little bit you can't really run at people because because the, because there's so much rebounding it just bounces around the place and you know nothing happens but here we have a look at the stats of Harry Kane now after we've brought in the players and Jamie Vardy as well four goals and four assists in two games insane contributions a huge benefit Lingard as well three goals in three games also a fantastic record so far Kabamin even with two goals from CDM Indeed, he does a shift as well. In weak foot, four star skill moves, three stars. A great player. Masawaku here just bought. Bayi has done a great job of definitely a good choice replacing Rudiger with Bayi and then Wambasaka. Ooh, baby, Wambasaka. The number of times that people have run past me down the wing and I have Wambasaka and I just turn around and sprint after them and then tackle them is fantastic. Here you can see the Hunter Chem style doing work. Plus 10 acceleration, plus 10 sprint speed, brings them up to 98 pace. Along with those shooting stats, they do need a little bit of a boost uh, with that Hunter card. So plus five on the attack positioning and finishing, and plus 10 on that shot power. But as you can see, it's worth it. The man does work. The only downside I would say to Jamie Vardy is his three star weak foot. Sometimes you do get in positions where you expect to score, but it's on his left and he sort of spoons it a little bit. There are obviously a many, many better players than him. Uh, there's a few in the pipeline. I still want to have a look at Gabriel Jesus. Ideally, at the end of the day, if we could get Hyungbin Son, apparently his card is phenomenal. Next episode, we are doing Div Rivals Rewards. So Andy reminded me actually that the Div Rivals Rewards will come out on, what day was it? It would be Thursday morning that they'll come out. Obviously, that's in the past now when this video is uploaded. So I had to grind out all night to get those rewards to try and get up to as high a rank as possible but you'll be able to see what we do with those rewards in the next episode so stay tuned for that thank you very much for watching guys if you enjoyed the video leave a like if you're new here subscribe thank you again so much you guys have shown so much love for the series and i will continue to produce this as much as i can thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace